So I just got done running on the treadmill, so forgive my general greasiness, but I saw a Ramsey Paul video, and I, uh, I don't really watch a lot of Ramsey Paul videos. He is a uh, pretty smart and, you know, perceptive and funny. He's also kind of a libertarian wackadoodle, but whatever. He also has a knack for finding ridiculous horse shit. Now, what do I mean when I say that feminists have a weird, creepy fixation on rape and an overbearing tendency to uh, demand that you share in their fixation? Well, the uh, new Yukon logo, or uh, what do you call it, mascot. Let's just take a look, see if I can put it right here. Look at this thing. It's fucking adorable. I looked at it and I went, Aww. Uh, never mind. Forget I said that girly gay thing that I just said. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and go through an article from the Daily Caller on the matter. The new logo for the University of Connecticut sports team is a terrifying husky dog that calls to mind images of sexual assault, says one student. Let me stop right here. I wonder if this is just like any student, just like a random student, or is it a feminist, you know? I don't know. Could be either one. Let's just see how this pans out. The new logo was unveiled last week, receiving mixed to negative reviews from the Yukon fans who preferred the older, cuter husky dog. How could the older one be cuter than that? This thing is fucking adorable. Look at it. Oh, sorry. But one student went much further, criticizing the new meaner logo for being a pro-rape symbol. <laughs> In an open letter to UC President Susan Herbst, self-described feminist students, oh, I am shocked to my very fucking core, <laughs> student Carolyn Luby wrote that the redesigned team logo will intimidate women and empower rape culture. <laughs> Sorry, had to compose myself there. UConn basketball coach Gino Ariyama said the logo is looking right through you, saying, Do not mess with me. This is a streamlined fighting dog, and I cannot wait for it to be on our uniforms and court. In response, Luby, the feminist, wrote, What terrifies me about the admiration of such traits is that I know what it feels like to have a real live husky look straight through you and feel powerless, and to wonder if even the administration cannot mess with them, in quotes. And I know I am not alone. There were two sexual assaults at UConn involving athletes in the past year, Luby claimed. Did it involve wolves? The logo and the team it represents are menacing to women, she wrote. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You have to be kidding me. It's like a, a child afraid... I, I, if, you're afraid of a picture, uh, an adorable picture of a husky. And by the way, I've looked a husky in the eyes too, and a husky is a total fucking pussy, okay? That's just a fact. Like, if I had a fight with a husky, I would win. Not because I'm a badass fucking dog fighter, but because huskies are little bitches. Like most pack animals, you take on a single one of them, all you have to do is keep it from biting you and then kick it in the butthole and it'll run away going yipe, yipe, yipe. But to get back to the article. The face of real-life Yukon athletics is certainly capable of frightening college women, wrote Luby. Herbst did not respond to requests for comment. Well, I should hope not. I mean, if I were in her position, I would be out of my goddamn mind from taking barbiturates, opiates, and various types of booze, and maybe some weed too, because I would be so goddamn depressed at the dismal state of affairs with regard to the quality of alumni in my particular school. Now this article is so goddamn ridiculous that it really doesn't need any additional commentary to even to highlight the ridiculousness. It's just like, there it is, look at that, can you believe this shit? Later, folks. But I'll just add a little summation. Uh, I mean, what, you know, why would a person be against feminism? Well, I don't know, maybe because, like, 
there's some grown ass women who are actually complaining about how they're afraid of pictures and and uh, like <laughs> uh, and they don't think that they're ridiculous fucking children I mean that's that's something and then uh, also again with the creepy fixation of feminists with rape like they use the word so often that like in sometime in the near future like a woman will actually legitimately be raped and she'll say oh my god I was raped and then you know the response will be like yeah you were raped everybody's raped everything's raped what are you talking of course you know like you keep crying wolf eventually people will just well you know the story and if you don't how come you don't anyway have a nice night